God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you right now, asking you to forgive us for all of our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, create in us a clean heart, renew the right spirit within us, make us whole, make us new. You said in your word in 1 John 1 and 9 that you will grant us this forgiveness if we would just confess. So we ask you to forgive us from sins of commission and sins of omission, things that we know about, things that we don't know about. We repent, we turn away from those things that we used to do and we return to who we really are in the name of Jesus. Right now I take my position of who I really am. I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. I am an heir of God, a joint heir of Jesus and I speak from a position of boldness according to the book of Hebrews. Now I approach the throne of grace to obtain favor in the time of need. So in the name of Jesus I begin to do what you call me to do which is to be one of the voices that you have deputized and that you have anointed to speak across this nation, to speak across this land, and to speak across this world. So I pray for the United States of America. Right now, I pray for Barack Obama, the sitting president in our nation. I pray for the coming administration. I pray for every single branch of government. I pray for the executive branch. I pray for the legislative branch. I pray for the judicial branch. I pray that liberty and justice will begin to flow from our nation to other nations. I pray right now that we will be parallel with the kingdom of God. I pray right now that the kingdom agenda will now be promoted in the United States of America. I pray right now that the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ shall be prominent, shall be prevalent in every single corner of this country in the precious name of Jesus. Right now I come against every foul spirit. I come against every unclean spirit. I come against every spirit that is attacking our country right now. The ruling forces, the ruling evil opposing forces to that which is good. I come against the spirit of atheism in the name of Jesus. I command you to shift right now in Jesus name. I come against every spirit of agnosticism and I command you, loose your hold from off of our country. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of prejudice. Loose your hold. I come against the spirit of social injustice. And in the name of Jesus, loose your hold. I come against every spirit of homosexuality that is attacking the marriages, that is attacking the original intent that God had created for us to be. I come against that spirit of homosexuality. And in the name of Jesus, I command you to go back to the pit from which you came. I pray for the church in the United States of America. I pray for every pastor that is over local congregations. I pray for the spirit of integrity to begin to move back into our leaders. I pray for integrity with finances and integrity with relationships and an integrity with the sheep. Integrity behind closed doors. I pray for character, for character to begin to spring up in the angels of the houses that you have set up. I pray right now for the apostolic community to rise up. I pray for the fivefold ministry, for the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers to begin to take their heavenly positions, to begin to sit down and be who they have called, who they have been called to be by you, Lord God. I pray that a wind of power shall begin to shift into the churches, that miracles, signs, and wonders shall begin now to usher their way back to the men and women of God. I pray, Father, for those who are ministers and leaders to walk in the level of glory that you walked in, Jesus. I pray that their garments will be so anointed that people will touch the border of their clothing and be healed. Right now, I pray for every single man and woman of God, for the children of God. We release them from the bondages and the clutches of the enemy. We release them from sickness and disease. We come against every spirit of cancer. Cancer, we command you to lose your hold in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, go! Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. We come against blood disorders. We come against joint disorders. We come against mental disorders. We come against every foul mind battle. We come against mind battles in the name of Jesus. We come against voodoo and witchcraft in the name of Jesus. We 
come against every foul spirit right now. We command wheelchairs to be vacant. We command crutches to be tossed to the side. We command medication to be stopped. We decree healing in Jesus' name. Father God, right now, begin to release your angels all across this nation. Release angels that pour and excel in strength. Release angels that send forth messages. Release angels that heal. Send down the angels like you did 2,000 years ago when you would send angels down to trouble the water at the pool of Bethesda. And whoever stepped in, they were healed. Right now that the healing ripple begins to flow throughout our country, begins to flow throughout this world, begins to heal sick bodies in hospitals, begins to heal those who don't have finances for medication. Right now we decree liberating healing in the name of Jesus according to Ezekiel chapter 37. We speak to every dry bone right now. We speak to the dry bones of depression. We speak to the dry bones of suicide. We speak to the dry bones of getting up. We speak to the dry bones of the backsliders. We speak to the dry bones of the liars. We speak to the dry bones of those who are downcast. And in the name of Jesus, we command you to live, 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 live in Jesus' name. We pray for Africa, we pray for China, we pray for India, we pray for the Asian countries, we pray for the English countries, we pray for all the nations and all the countries on this road. And we decree that the gospel of Jesus Christ is now being is now being effective in those countries, all third world countries who are in poverty. Right now, Lord, begin to open up the doors that our Christian evangelists can go in and direct shop against the enemy's plan. That our evangelists and our pastors and our workers will be able to go over and shake up those who are in voodoo. Shake up the witch doctors. Shake up the sorcerers. Shake up those who have foul demonic practices. And let us go in, Lord God, and begin to work the works of you that does us in this earth. We pray right now for our young people. Our young people will not be bound with drugs. Our young people will not be bound with alcohol. Our young people will not be bound with prostitution. We pray right now that those who are going to be drug dealers are now going to be lawyers. Those who are going to be prostitutes are now going to be doctors. Those who are going to be lost are now going to be preachers. We prophesy. We declare. We decree that Jesus is Lord over the entire earth. Jesus is Lord. Right now we pray for those who don't know you. Those who have never felt your love. Those who have never come in contact with Yeshua, Hamashiach. Those who have never